What's up guys, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Here we are inside the mansion in Vegas. When we do these long programs, we like to get a big house. We had all the instructors staying here. Some of the students were staying here. They were doing a longer term program. And this is where we kind of go through all our pre-brief stuff, all the extra auxiliary stuff, all the main trainings. And everyone's just kind of kicking it. And it's kind of like good to immerse like in the lifestyle. So, you know, throughout the day, we have guys asking questions. We're talking about all kinds of advanced topics, and this is really where a lot of the breakthroughs are made. So guys are able to ask about specific sticking points and things they need help with, et cetera, et cetera. So the topic of today is how to effortlessly vibe, okay? So a lot of guys, a common question is, what do I say in the club? What do I say after I open? What do I say after I approach? And all the different guys that we're coaching here, we all have a bunch of like go-to topics, okay? For me, some of my go-to topics are how old are you? What's your ethnicity? How tall are you? What do you do for work? This kind of stuff. You're also asking logistical questions. What are you doing after this? How do you all know each other? Et cetera, et cetera. But the golden rule is that you shouldn't make too big of a deal out of it. So you should just be saying whatever you want to say and treating it no differently than you would any interaction, right? So I always tell guys, like, if you're talking to your best guy friend or one of your close friends, you're not wondering, what should I say next? What, do, what are they going to think if I say this? Like, you know, how, how long is the conversation going? How can I keep it going longer? Those are all the wrong mindsets. I've told you guys in a lot of other videos that you want to assume you already got the girl before you approach, all right? So the goal of the interaction is not to win the girl over. It's not to win points. It's not to say the right things. It's to answer objections, find out her logistical situation, inject physicality, and close the deal, okay? So the golden rule for vibing is just say whatever comes to mind. Okay, well, that's been referred to by a lot of people as speak with no filter. But really, you just say whatever comes out. Okay, but a caveat to that is you want to be injecting sexuality. So you want to be putting in uh, verbal innuendos, right? So for me personally, whenever I can twist something sexual, I do it a lot of times way over the top. Like guys that hang out with me, they get, excuse me, they get pretty shocked because I'll, t I'll twist almost everything the girl says sexual. And a lot of times, like, very extreme sexual. And you can do that up until a point until, like, sometimes they'll be like, whoa, whoa, it's too, that's too much, or they get offended. But usually they're cool with it. And that adds to the whole frame that you're going to be taking her home, that you're interested in her sexually, okay? So other rules for vibing. Um, you basically, I give guys the exact structure of how to run the interaction, which I won't cover in this video. So kind of the other rules for vibing, I go through, like, uh, structure on the program, which I'm not going to cover on YouTube videos, in terms of like the high level steps you should be taking, the kind of things you should be doing to move the interaction forward. But the golden rule is just say whatever you want. Speak with no filter, inject the sexuality, incorporate physicality, okay? Answer her objections properly. There's 14 main objections. I teach guys exactly how to answer each one of those. And here we are in our squalor. This is actually the house was clean before last night. A bunch of the students pulled back a whole bunch of girls, and there was a mini party here. And that's what's been happening throughout the week. This is just kind of like the spot where we allow the students to pull. The instructors are pulling back here at the end of the night as well. And we end up with a whole bunch of chicks here. Some of the guys <clears throat> that have fallen asleep early are getting woken up once people come back and pull and are blasting the music and shit like that. So as you can see, we are deeply immersed one week in to the whole craziness of the Vegas lifestyle. But back to the topic. So if you want to learn how to vibe properly, you say what comes to mind, and then you just have a bunch of follow, you know, fallback go-to topics. Okay, so usually here's how I run a typical interaction. Hey, what's up? I want to meet you real quick. What's your name? Oh, cool. I just moved here. I'm going to be a DJ. I'm going to be playing at clubs X and, X and Y. Uh, what are you guys doing after this? Oh, we're doing this and that. Okay, cool. Um, we might be throwing a party later. You guys should join us. Let me grab your info and I'll text you and see if you guys want to come. What's your ethnicity, by the way? This and that. Okay, cool. Where are you guys staying? So you're injecting these logistical questions to find out information about the probability you're going to be able to take the girl home. But at the same time, you're also building rapport. You're building value okay, by saying old school demonstrations of higher value things. So I'll talk about topics like how I've lived all around the world. I'll talk about you know, different fun experiences I've had, different fun experiences that have happened recently. So you should have kind of like a go-to set of topics 
where if you think you're going to run out of stuff to say, you just talk about those topics. But really, you should never be questioning if what you say is good enough or how you should, you know, what you should say next or anything like that. Most guys, when they're in an interaction, are thinking like, okay, I've spoken for two minutes. How do I make it go for three minutes? I've spoken for four minutes. How do I make it go for five minutes? What do I do next? What does the girl think about me at this point? You know, all these, these are all the wrong mindsets. You, you're in there assuming that you should treat it, treat the interaction like you've already fucked the girl before. So you wouldn't be worrying about what to say to a girl you've already fucked. You're just talking to her, making sexual jokes unapologetically, talking about you guys should hang out afterwards, and just assuming that you will hang out, out afterwards and that she already likes you because you already fucked her before. So once you change that mindset and you're going in the interaction assuming it's going to work out well, then the girl will get that same vibe and it will work out well. It's not to say every girl is going to like you. The moment that you find out that things aren't on or that she's not down, that's when you eject, you move on to the next interaction. Okay, but your whole night, it's not a matter of trying to warm up or build state. Like I have a whole video about that where I think those are false concepts. You should just be able to talk to anybody, but anybody about anything at any time. Okay, so I challenge any of you that are having trouble speaking to girls and in interactions to think about who else you have trouble talking to that's like a close friend or like a close family member. Like you're not gonna run out of stuff to say to those people and you're not gonna be placing so much judgment on the things you say. All right, so another important concept is the idea of conversational threads. So I remember back when I read Old School Mystery Method, his book, Mystery Method, he was saying like, imagine you see a girl in the park and you're like, oh, hey, nice dog, what's his name? And she's like, such and such. And then you're like, what kind of dog is it? And she's like, such and such. And then she's like, you know, then you're like, how long have you had the dog? And she's like, oh, three years. And you're just stuck on this dog thread and you're beating it into the ground. And then over time, like, you run out of things to say and you're like, uh, is he, uh, you know, you, you run out of stuff to say. And then basically the dog thread dies and she's like, oh, well, anyways, have a nice day. Okay, so instead of doing that and just harping on one thread, you want to start a whole bunch of threads. Okay, and what I mean by thread is like a specific topic. All right, so I might make a comment about the girl's outfit, all right? And then every once in a while, I'll, I'll poke fun at it again, like, ha, 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 I just fucking love this outfit. I'm gonna make a comment about how she's really sexy, like she has a nice ass or something like that, then I'll bounce back to the ass thread, okay? <laughs> the ass thread. Write that down. Um, you know, I'll be talking about the idea that we're gonna go to a party later. I'll keep bouncing back to that. So like, don't be afraid to start a whole bunch of threads, and you actually should be doing that. You should be free associating, and then you should be bouncing from thread to thread as you see fit. Like literally, like I watch in my infield hidden camera videos sometimes, and I'm literally like this, and she goes to answer, and I'm like, how about this? And she goes to answer, I'm like, and now this, and now this. And the girl's just like getting bounced all over the place. But that's more stimulating for her than just like burning one topic into the ground. Like you don't want to mention like, oh yeah, I do accounting or whatever. And she's like, oh, tell me about that. And you're like, well, you know, I work a lot with spreadsheets and this and this, and then you're like, oh, accounting, accounting, accounting for like 20, 30 minutes. It's gonna quickly become boring. All right, you wanna be directing things forward in a very structured way that I teach in my product and on my live programs. But at the same time, you wanna have a whole bunch of threads that you can bounce between, okay? And these are all strategic threads. A lot of them are, are doing very specific things and have a very specific purpose, okay? And you, know, you also wanna be cutting threads. Right, so let's say some kind, somehow some song comes up. There's a stereotypical example, but let's say a song comes on and the girl is like, this reminds me of my ex-boyfriend. This was like our favorite song. You don't want to be like, oh, tell me more about that. Like, do you miss him? Like, let's, let's go and tell this stuff about your ex-boyfriend. You want to be like, oh, really? And then just, boom, switch the topic. Okay, and then that just cuts off the thread completely. So you want to do that for anything that like works against you. Like, let's say she's like, oh, you have like a really wrinkled shirt or something like that. You don't want to be like talking about that and entertaining because it's, it's a low value thread, okay? So anything also that makes her like sad, right? Like let's say some really sad event happened to her or she's in a bad mood because such and such, you don't want to be harping on that. You'd rather move things to something more positive, all right? So in summary, the big keys are to speak with no filter, start multiple conversational threads, have go-to threads that serve specific purposes and that you can fall back on if you run out of things to say. But a lot of your interactions are gonna be the same. You're gonna be having dynamic banter filled in with your go-to threads 
that moves things forward. And it's almost like a comedy routine. Like when you have your 10 to 15 minute interaction, you're gonna be going through a lot of the same stuff and closing the deal, okay? So I hope that was helpful. Please press two more stairs. Please press the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. There's a whole bunch more of this fucking house that we were gonna walk through, but there's like people about doing things and sleeping and et cetera. So live from Las Vegas. Thank you guys for tuning in. Take care.